Hey guys, what's going on? So, checking out uh, more of the Taichi Panda update that happened recently. And, you know, once again, um, I'm gonna go over it the best I can, but it's been a while since I've seriously played, and I am a little bit lost. This update seems pretty huge. I just joined a random guild to check out the tech tree and the spirit tree. Um, I guess I understand them a bit. Here you can water a tree in exchange for some rewards. I can't really show you because I need to wait 24 hours after joining the guild. So I guess after 300 times something special happens, but it looks like every time you uh, you water it, you'll get something here, like refined stones or gold or citrus. And then it seems like the tech tree gives like whole guild buffs. I'm not totally sure how you level this up or so, but I think the guild leader, it says here the guild leader and vice leader can activate. Again, I just joined a random guild so not sure if anyone here is even active or not. But yeah, that's basically what it is. So whole guild buffs after you raise that, I guess. So we talked about the new class, the ninja, in the last Taiji Panda video. But there are also new weapons, the elemental ice, fire, and thunder blade. I can't really show you that because no one has them yet. But I'll throw some pictures up on screen. Uh, and you can just see the stats for yourself if you want. The Thanksgiving buttons and such are back as the turkey with the pets. Etc. Also, there's a special Thanksgiving title. I guess here, Thankful Night, uh, Siphon 10%, Hit Rate 10% for topping up 110 diamonds. Decent title, I'd say. There's also a new pet cultivation system, although I don't really understand it and I couldn't try it anyway since apparently you need to be at least one star, which I guess is level 100, and then you get your star and then you can go to level 200, whatever. I assume it'll just make your pet stronger. It says it provides different attribute buffs depending on, I guess, the direction. It's a little bit confusing, I'm not too sure, but uh, I guess in short it will make your pet stronger. It does have some pretty high requirements to do so though. They also add a paired talisman system, so I guess you can have another talisman and you'll get some extra attributes from it. They added this one touch auto loot button to auto loot all the gold and survival instances, which I did before I started recording and I have to say that was actually pretty cool. I think they had it auto loot before, but you had to go to each individual one, so that speeds things up a bit. And they also added a new team instance, which I guess we can try. It says recommended my 300,000, so okay, apparently you, you can go up with up to six players. I'm just gonna chill here for a couple minutes. If we don't find a match, then we're gonna give up on that and continue with the update. All right, let's go ahead and try hard mode, even though it says uh, we need a recommended right of 700,000, we're just going to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently you can't go in without the recommended might, so... Uh, unfortunately, we can't really check that out. Don't really want to sit here for half an hour waiting for a whole squad or whatnot or whoever to press start. There was also something new that I noticed while I was uh, playing around earlier before I started recording. Is this thing here, a uh, rune evolution. Apparently, you can uh, p put three fully leveled quality 34 runes, which I didn't even know existed yet. I thought 32 was still the highest. Uh, make a quality 36. I'm not sure if this was in this update or not, but uh, damn, quality uh, 34 runes. Those must be pretty insane and then there's quality 36 after that cannot imagine I was looking at some of the top players on our server and I think uh, this guy has one almost full set of quality 34 yeah so I remember quality 32 had like 10% like dodge and 10% hit rate I'm not sure if they like nerfed those no it's still 10 and 10 so I guess the reason most people aren't going for quality 34s and such probably because they're very expensive and because they don't add that much. Looks like just 2% more there. I'm not sure about quality 36 though, haven't seen anyone with, with one of those yet. And yeah, so there are a few other uh, small things, but I think I went over most of the most important ones. We're gonna go back and check out team instance once more. We're gonna, gonna try that again, try and get in that team instance. Oh, it looks like we have five players here now. Oh, okay, we have all six. Come on, let's go ahead and try it. I don't know why I can't enter. Apparently there is some sort of countdown here. Nine, eight, okay, so maybe we can enter it, hold on. All right, so we're entering the instance. I have no idea, absolutely no, wow, there are more than six people here, holy crap. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any enemies anywhere. Uh, I'm just gonna pop the skills, I guess, uh, this one. Okay, I see something, it looks like a Sun Wukong. I think we're fighting like a Sun Wukong right now, it looks like. I'm just gonna, <laughs> oh my god, there are so many players here, I can't see anything. I'm gonna transform into Captain Sam and just uh, hit on it, I guess. There's so much action going on here that I, I literally can't see a damn thing. All I can see is 
our enemy's health bar, I guess. I'm just clicking and seeing if I can do anything. I don't know. It looks like it's almost dead though. I'm not sure how many there are if this is the only... Okay, now we're fighting the boss. Let's check out what's going on here. Uh, okay, we have... Um, I have no idea. I'm just going... Holy crap, does this thing have 51 million HP? Or is that 510 million? I can't, I can't tell and honestly, I can't really check. Uh, okay, I'm still decently healthy at about... Okay, now I'm at half health. So, <laughs> this isn't looking very good. I'm guessing I'm going to swap out pets. Go Mephisto Boric heal up a bit, I think. Boric heals? Where's the boss now? Alright, there it is. Just going to slam into him, see if I can do anything. If I remember right, I do have some decent crits going on there. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, trying to even see where it is. There are way too many players. I <laughs> Everyone's just hitting air as far as it looks like. Uh, is it here? I don't even see a health bar. Uh, I'm going to... Okay. Oh, there it is. Now it's a swordsman. Oh, it says Frost Swordmaster up there. Oh, holy crap, what was that? Well, I don't really want to die, so I'm going to try and uh, get out of there a little bit. Pop Mephisto again, but that doesn't seem to help with the slowing down. Guess I'm going to go ahead and transform back into Sam. And, uh, okay, I think I'm hitting him. I see numbers popping up at least, but I don't actually see him. Uh, is that him? Okay, it looks like he's down to about uh, one-third health, maybe a little bit more, but uh, we should be able to get through it, it looks like. There are still lots of players left. I'm almost dead, but I'm just going to try and keep a somewhat safe distance. I have no idea where he is. Oh, there he is. He's very close to me, and I can't move. Let's go ahead and put Nezha's shield down. I'm not sure if that will do anything, but... Oh, no, that was a bad hit. Oh, thank you for throwing me out of the way. That was nice. Um... I don't know what to do now. I don't want to die, but I, I also don't want to just run away. I'm going to try doing my little uh, flash move thing here and then try and run away. Ah, can I get away? I'm going to use his and then see if Bork... Oh, okay, they killed him. What kind of loots do we get? Looks like a Lunar Tear, a Titan Shard. I'm not too sure. We're going to see at the end screen here. I thought there was only supposed to be uh, six players. Well, what's this? Life Essence, Wing Regeneration, I don't know what, I don't know, uh, Titan Shard, that's one of the, oh wow, and quality, what's that, 26, 28 Rune Shards, I believe they're quality 28 Rune Shards, that's pretty cool, not sure how often you can do this, I heard it's like once or twice a week or something, but uh, I'm not, and then I just got another quality 30 Rune Shard, yeah, it looks like you can do it 0 out of 1, 1 out of 1, 0 out of 1, ah, okay, refreshes on Mondays and Fridays, so yeah, two times a week, pretty good rewards there, um, but very limited, and that and that's also why it's kind of hard to find a match, you know, when people can only do it uh, twice a week. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for the video, and pretty much the update. Like I said, there are some other small things. I think I covered the most important ones, so that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Make sure to drop a like if you did enjoy. I believe someone told me there's a Taiji Panda Heroes update coming out, so I'll probably try and get to that either tomorrow. Maybe I'll check it out today and uh, make a video tomorrow, not too sure. But yeah, that will do it for right now anyway. Uh, thanks guys as always for watching, and until next time.